Hi buddies, today I'm just going to talk about Man United Halifax fixture, Man United Brighton fixture and there's so many problems Man United is facing. So do me one thing, subscribe to my YouTube channel because I release new updates about United every single day. Well the latest update I have today is that Man United has beaten Halifax uh, 5 goals to 1, a game that was played behind closed doors and surely this comes after Man United lost their first Premier League game for this season 2022-2023 and of course Brighton beat us 2 goals to 1 at Old Trafford, can you imagine? Of course many of us United fans came with a lot of expectations from this team from Eric Tenag and his squad but it seems the squad is not playing for Eric Tenag because the results of course say it all, the body language says it all and also the players, most of the midfield has issues you get. We can't, I mean, survive on a midfield of Scott McTominay and surely Fred in, in, you know, it's very crazy. In fact, Man United played much better in the second half when Eriksen dropped deep and that's when we started playing some good football. So that means we need a defensive midfielder, guys. This is really has been my observation throughout the entire season, last season. And also now preseason, we watched it all. Of course, the first games as we all watched them. Since uh, Eric Jenner was bringing the youngsters of Savage or Charlie Savage, and of course Zidane Iqbal, they are playing really nice football. And also, I believe if Eric Jenner gives these youngsters a chance to come and feature in the first eleven, they can produce good good performances against even big teams. But a midfield of Fred and Scott McTominay. They need to really step up their game because this is a long season and we really need to go back to the Champions League. Cristiano Ronaldo, of course, had that crazy facial expression at halftime after Brighton scoring the goals at ABCD. But he came on in the second half after withdrawing Fred and Cristiano Ronaldo stepped on the pitch. And of course, we saw a, a big change. Okay, we saw a big change in the second half. And of course, he also played today in a game that was played behind closed doors against Halifax. Um, but the, the topic of the day is should Eric Tenag um, consider youngsters ahead of these so-called experienced players? Because they have given them a chance and they are not delivering, you understand? And we keep on blaming managers but also the players, are, in my opinion, they need to step up their game. Because they are not doing what we expect as fans from these big players. They are paid big salaries. We thought maybe Pop Pogba was a virus. We thought Cristiano Ronaldo was a problem. But it seems the team is the entire problem. And also their defense has issues. Even though we signed Tyro Malaysia and also Lisandro Martinez. But I believe we need a partner now is going to work with Lisandro Martinez because. We also saw we all saw what happened yesterday when Harry Maguire surely did a lot of mistakes in our defense against Brighton. I mean they made Welbeck become a super messy. Welbeck looked like Messi, honestly speaking, because he was playing like a superstar. I mean I'm not undermining Welbeck, of course he's a world class player, but then the level he was playing at yesterday with somebody like Louis Suarez or Lionel Messi or some other player. So drop your comments in the comment section, guys. What do you think about Man United this season? Do you think we are gonna come back to the Champions League places or we are going to struggle in the relegation battle? But one game doesn't make Eric Tenag a bad manager. Let's keep watching, let's keep supporting him and sure, maybe results will come later. Okay. Um final about this game that uh, Man United beat Halifax. According to my new sources, they confirmed me that Cristiano Ronaldo and James Garner or Ghana were on the score sheet. And also, um, the reports suggest that uh, Man United is on the verge of signing Adrian Rabiot from Juventus. So, that's all I have for you guys today. I, I, I decided to record this lengthy video. I mean, I've never done a video of four minutes on my channel regarding sports. Okay? So, if you like what I create for you guys, because I believe I, I always pray and I always make sure that maybe in the future I improve on the kind of content I give you guys, more so when it comes to match highlights. Many of you believe or think 
I do click biting, I don't click bite anybody, okay? And I hate it. But um, in the future, I believe I'll improve on my content and I'll be able to give you highlights without me facing copyright claims, okay? Because sometimes when you upload this content, it's blocked and it's done. Like they do so much with it because I don't own copyright some of these videos. So that's why some of you think that we come on here and just start clickbaiting, which is not the case. We all love to show you what has happened behind the scenes or after the games, okay? Anyway, if you like what I create for you, support my channel by subscribing to it. Hit that subscription button and also hit a bell notification button to never miss an update from this channel. Thank you for watching this video and see you in my next video. Bye for now.